told you that the creator of the universe has a purpose for your life? What if I told you that the creator of the universe is constantly every day making plans for you? What if I told you that the creator of the universe is so deeply in love with you that he cannot and will not stop ever, 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 ever trying to reach out to you to get your attention, to let you know, hey, everything will be all right, just trust in me. Okay, I have a devotional series going on. God bless my friend. I won't say her name because I don't wanna, you know, just expose her or anything like that. But a good friend of mine at college gave me this book. It's a devotional book. So I said, you know what? We're gonna use this on the channel. We, we have to use this on the channel. So we're gonna use this on the channel. You guys can't tell I'm extroverted. <laughs> so, today's devotional is very important. The series first, it's gonna be starting with purpose. We're gonna talk about purpose. I want you to know something. I want you to know something real quick. God made you in his image. And so to be created in his image doesn't necessarily mean that physically we look like him. To be created in his image means you have a body, a mind, and a spirit. Or in Greek, you have a soma, a suke, and a pneuma. Soma, suke, and pneuma. Those are the Greek words. And so because you have a soma, suke, and pneuma, you were created in the image of God. You reflect God in what you do. Your soul is your conscience. You actually quite literally are stamped, like a posting stamp, you are stamped with God's purpose. Each and every single one of you, even the ones who aren't watching this video, even me, the one who made this book, stamped with a purpose. God gave you a purpose. He put it on you even before he said, let there be light. He gave you a purpose. When he was on the cross, shedding blood for you, he made a purpose. God has a purpose for your life. But you gotta block out all of what the world tells you to do because the world is trying to, right now, and even then, in the future, the world is constantly going against the flow of what God has put in nature for us. Even in the garden, we can see mankind going against God's purpose. What he set for us. So, when the world is constantly trying to make sense of a purpose without listening to what God says our purpose is, how do we handle that? I'm gonna show you how. Putting on the armor of God, let me show you how to do that real quick. I got my notes over here. First of all, humans are trying to, every day, create their own purpose. They're trying to fashion a purpose. They're trying to make sense of life, trying to create their own purpose, building their own kingdom, only to find that it's not gonna work. It won't work. If you try to build your life, try to create a purpose without putting God first, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna happen. Because here's the hard truth, whether you like this or not, you cannot escape God. Everything is, was, and is to come because of God. God's story, the word history. What does the word history have? Two words, actually. His story. All history is, it's really just his story. So, God is constantly creating a purpose for each and every one of you. But the world is trying to create their own purpose. People try to make sense of their life. Something gets you out of bed every morning, correct? Something causes you to wake up every morning. You have faith in something, whether you're Christian or not. You have faith in something. You're trying to make sense of your life. Even if someone says, oh, I have no value, I have no purpose. That alone, believing that you have no purpose, no value, that is a purpose. No matter who you are, what you've done, 
how old you are, your gender, doesn't matter what race, you have a purpose. And even if you don't know your purpose, you're trying to make sense of your purpose. Want to know something else? Here's something else. It's not a secret. God's not keeping a secret from you. God is not trying to trick you. He's not like, oh, yes, I'm scheming. They don't know the plans that I have for them. He's not like some genie in a bottle or some wizard that has like a crystal ball. It's like, let me show you what I have planned for you. No. All you got to do is trust in God and talk to him. And as and be patient, be patient. And as time goes on, the Lord will reveal his plans that he has for you. Because God does say this, and scripture does say that the Lord will give you the desires of your heart. But you need to trust in him first and know your purpose. It's not a secret. God's not trying to hide anything from you. And more than anything, God desires to convey your heart. To an unshakable relationship with him so that you only trust in him and that your purpose is only with him and so if that is true god is constantly more than anything else calling you to a greater purpose think about that the creator of the universe has a purpose for you and he loves you doesn't matter what you've done doesn't matter who you are doesn't matter what you've ever said to people, how you've treated others. God has a purpose for you. For you, my brother. For you, my sister. Come on now. Somebody raise the roof. I'm being serious right now. God has a purpose for you. Yes, you. Watching this video. He has a purpose for you. And this is something that a lot of people have a hard time struggling with too. Like, okay, well, if everybody has a purpose in God's story, if this is all his story, everyone has a purpose in it, then what am I? God is constantly paying attention to the whole world. How is he going to have time to think about me? Well, let me tell you something. Do not limit God because God can do anything. God is infinite. God is outside of space and time. He is the alpha and the omega. He is the beginning and he is the end. And because of that... He can pay attention to everyone individually. That's what he does, actually. Instead of looking at the whole world as a whole, God does that. But at the same time, he looks at each of you individually. He looks at me individually. So while he's thinking about someone right now, he's also thinking about me individually. And that person individually. And this person individually. And that person. And that person. And that person. He's constantly thinking about everybody individually. That's who God is. So even though you may think, well, God, how can he have an individual purpose for my life? He does because he cares about you and he formed you. He knitted you together in your mother's womb. He has a purpose for you. And don't, don't try to figure it out. The one thing that a lot of people, a lot of Christians try to trip up on, and I can admit this because I've done it before. I've confessed my sins to you all right now. I have before try to figure out what God has planned for my life. Don't try to figure it out. Just trust in him. Know that you have a purpose and a calling to your life. And if you trust in that, God will reveal the purpose that he has for you. He will. When the day comes, he will reveal the purpose that he has for you. But you cannot know your purpose. He will, here's the thing. God is not going to give you a divine roadmap if you do not have some type of companionship with him. he And I'm going to say that again. God is not going to give you a divine roadmap if there is no divine companionship. It's all about relation. It's religion and relation. Religion and relation. He's not going to give you a divine roadmap if you don't have that companionship. So... If you want to know your purpose that God has for you, pray about it. Keep on praying and trust in him. Before we close, I want to read real quick. I want to read with you guys. I don't have it turned immediately to where I'm going, but I'm going to read from Proverbs. Because Proverbs, book of wisdom, 
one of my favorite books in the Bible. And this verse specifically talks about waiting on God's purpose for you. All right, I found it. This is Proverbs 19.20. If you want to turn to it or if you just want to listen to me talk, that's fine. I'm going to read from it. Proverbs 19.21 says this. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. I'll say that again. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Wow. Wow. Quite literally, God has a purpose for you. However, if you spend too much time worrying about your own selfish desires, that gets in the way of his plan for you. Only trust in him above everything else. I'm going to pray with you real quick. Everyone bow your heads. Or if you don't want to bow your heads, that's totally fine. You can just listen to this and meditate on it. There's a prayer in here. All right. Dear Father God, I will trust your plan that you have set for my life. And I will make your face and not my plans the center of my attention. So I'll pray that again. Dear Father God, I will trust your plan for my life. And I will make your face, not my plans, the center of my attention. God bless you all.